Oh god. <laughs> if I sit <laughs> and push into it. Okay. Show him a proper setup. Proper Show them both a proper setup. Devontae really doesn't even have to squeeze a proper setup. Look at what he does. Right off the bat, sit back up, sit back up. Look what Devontae does. He, as he takes his back, he just pulls him back and he gets him to the point where it's like, okay, I'm nice and flush. I've got a good angle. So now as he goes to set this up, push this through. Okay, now he's not gonna do anything to try and squeeze. He's just gonna keep this connection and lay back. There it is. Did you feel his arms struggle or strain or no. tighten up? No. What he did is he got a good set and then he just used his legs to stretch. What does the stretch do? It pulls this up into you. Oh, what if I get my chin down and protect myself? Well, you'll still get choked out, but you also dislocate your jaw. Or very you, you bite yourself maybe another second. But you're still going out, just much more painfully. All right, let's get to my You can choke them out without You could. <laughs> you could. So check this out. Turn around, Rick. Real quick, I digress for just a moment. So he does put his chin down. Okay. I don't want to break his jaw. I really don't. But I've got good control here, so what do I do? I'm going to take my finger, I'm going to slip up underneath his nose, and I'm going to pull oh. it right back. There it is. There we go. Right? I used to say, hey, just grab the forehead, but if he's resisting, he'll pull his head down. So you just put your finger right under the nose and that'll bring, that'll bring him back. If you apply the pressure slowly enough, you can also just slowly choke him out through the chin. Very uncomfortable. <coughs> Very. Does that actually work on fight, sir? Oh, yeah. Go right up underneath and just okay. dry that up the head really? up back, because this is very sensitive. Mm. Do you want to try and resist? Say no, sir. Okay. <laughs> Pro tip. Not about it, though. <laughs> and you're like, ah. Uh, like that day we kicked. Like, you know what we're talking about? Like, <laughs> stop. Oh. <laughs> yeah. All right. Yeah, don't ask me that. I shouldn't kick you like 10% of your time. All right. So pull guard. Pull guard. He goes to clinch me. Uh-uh. Right here. I am not letting him grab me. Look where my hands go. I'm trying to, I'm trying to keep my hips away from him because I don't want him to take control of me. Okay? He's going to use my lean against me. The move looks like this. Why did you wait? No reason to go. No reason. He was in a safe place. Why should he force the move? That's going to cause him to use more energy and give me a chance to stop or counter what he's trying to do. Get yourself to a safe place. Let the bad guy create the opportunity. If all he's doing with his hands on the ground, he's not punching you, why do you have to force anything? All right. So, clinch doesn't work. Bad guy turns the face. He drops his shoulders in and pushes his hips away. But just pushing my hips away may not be enough, so I get my hands on his, so I can finish the drive to get away. He's not gonna let go. Here's where people make a mistake sometimes. They let go. Boom. I pop out and I drive back in for my punches. Not what you want. Because here's the thing, the end here of the move is him pushing his hips away. If he stops pushing his hips away, it's a different move. So, we're assuming that there is constant pressure that I cannot pull his hips in, and so that's why I have to do this. So if I let go with both hands and there's constant pressure, he's gonna get away. So, both hands stay connected. I'm driving in, and what he's gonna do is one hand at a time, up and hook, up and hook. He steps up wide as best he can. His feet go wide, he squats. He drives back, my feet are rooted, and he stretches my feet out. Okay, here's where I talked about a moment before. Why Devante is not swimming through right away is because right at the moment he's safe. My hands have no intention of punching him. Okay, so from right here, when I start to reach, look at that contact. He lets me 
create the space. Because if I don't, if I just try to pull this through, I don't do anything. You don't, I don't, I don't, I don't know. See, so, so he's, he's right. I try to pull. Look at how slow this is. And now I've lost my control on his shoulder. So at any point, he could just pull away real quick or just do something like that, and I have no say. But if I hold on to him, if he tries to move the shoulder at all, I can slow it down. I can now follow it to buy myself the time to get in position. And end up in punch block stage one. Yeah. Right? All right, let's reverse the rolls. So, I go to clinch. I, everything is normal. This is a standard clinch, right? If I, hold it, wait, wait. If I was to get it, I'm, that's what I'm going for. Standard clinch. As I come in, boom, he drops, bases out, hips are wide, right? His heavy, his, his shoulders are heavy into me. And this is one of the big reasons why this works so well. There's a lot of driving force into me. I just gotta make sure he can't separate quickly. So as he tries to separate, I'm driving back, holding him. And then I'm gonna go one, don't finger grab, hook, hook. Now if he tries to pull away, it's all right there. Back to the middle, beep, 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 beep. Okay, now uh, from right here, I'm gonna step in. He may have such a strong push that I don't get a nice straight up and down step to him, but I'm still gonna go wide, because I do wanna fall back here. He's got heavy pressure, I can't get in real close, and I'm just gonna squat and drive back, pull him in, there it is. Now look at my feet, they don't just sit down here loose, they come up over. I wanna lock him up, hold him in, close guard. And I'm just gonna chill. Remember, the side your head is on is the side you're gonna drop your arm over theirs. Don't try and do this. That's a horrible, yeah, it doesn't work. The side your head is on is the side your arm comes over their arm and blocks, okay? So let's see here, let's go back. Said without saying, so let's say. A common mistake is people, go do it to me. Common mistake people do is when they transition their hands from low to high as they let go and create an opportunity for me. One hand at a time, okay? Boom, boom, there we go, stop. Now, what's an indicator for the move? It's really obvious, it's really obvious he's going for the clinch. Indicator, I square up and I drive my hips out. This is a perfect set for the pull guard Technique. This is a great opportunity. One, two. Look, I'm keeping him away. I'm keeping him. Oh. And his focus on trying to keep my hips away actually helps. Do the move. Yeah. So boom. That's the side his head is on. You trap my arm. You hook my head. Oh wait, I want to clarify something that I'm doing. That might look weird. When I put my head on his back of his head, like this, it might look like I'm just being lazy, but I'm actually hooking him with the bone of my wrist and pulling in. So you can just hook with your hand, and it doesn't can, need to be fancy. Can you just put your elbow around back your head? I can also just do this and get all the way through. Okay, why do you tend to go with this? Well, I, why, so the reason I would go with that is sometimes the head's a little squarer than I want it, and I'll pull it off. Also, if he's throwing a punch with this side, and I pull his head off, it stuffs the punch completely. So I like to do that a lot of times when I first grab them, yeah. to stuff their punches, and then sometimes I'll change and I'll go to my elbow. You may be, you may be forced to go to the wrist hook if the person you're up against Too is big. a lot bigger yeah. than you. Then you have no choice. If you right? can't reach your elbow all the way over, well then you can't do it. Just whatever it is you're doing with that hook of the wrist, right? Well, yeah. Don't think grab with the fingers. You will burn your arm out really fast. Yeah. Just big mechanical movements, elbow, wrist, lock. So you can do the traditional, like you're hooking like this, or 
I'm a little fancier, you can hook them back through. <laughs> Uh, partner, partner, go. Your hip is out, just step your feet forward. Your hips can stay out, step your feet forward. More. Step forward. Sit back and pull. There you go. Relax. Yep, you're there. You're in control. Ben can throw the punch. Yes. Yes. Uh, 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 uh. Otis, I want you to focus on control the arm. What are you not controlling? On the set. Because when you win, you kind of sit here and you can see the straight. So really focus on just the middle like this. Yeah. So, boom, yep. Guess or or hook, right? And then pull that elbow down. There you go. So you want to keep your hand here. You want to keep your hand here. Now you got worse. So now one hand behind your shoulders. Boom. Now the other one. Now step up in and wide. Now squat. Oh. Okay. Elbow ramp back there. Good. 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 Yeah. Mm -hmm. That looks good. Your squat was good. Just make sure that you emphasize a little more the shoot back. So what I mean by that is don't just pull over. Really try to take straight your legs out. Because what will happen is imagine there's a person standing here. If I just pull them right down, their knee comes right down. But if I stretch out, they have to stretch out. Their knees come down. What? Instead of somewhere yeah. else. Safe. <laughs> so, just think. And if you ever want to practice that without a partner, you can just step on a line, squat. Oh, my really bad. And if you get like this much distance, your legs are straight. You did well. So the whole point is not to pull people on top. Yeah, you're pulling them really between your legs. Oh, oh yeah, pulling yeah, down. Yeah, don't pull knees into the crotch. That is a pro self defense test. Yeah, okay. That was best. That's the one thing I remember about what I did when I did it once before. It's just that rather than pulling tight enough. Don't hook your hands up, Otis. With the one arm. You know why? Yeah, correct. Well, I can do it. Why did you do it? Come off the wall. It's comfortable. And I can do it. It's a false sense of security. I don't want this separation to happen, so I got to think, keep him glued. It's a hard habit to break down. So as he fall, we don't get a gap. It's really bad to stay like that. We don't want that gap. Right, push in, stay away. I learned the hard right? way. This is wrong. This is this is what here's another mistake people make. They sit back and this separation happens. And he gets away. Because I gave him space to create that separation. And I keep falling, yeah. Now he's up and I'm down. I'm at the disadvantage. So when you do this, I want to keep my shoulders and his connected. So I'm pulling his shoulders actively. I can't step in any closer to him. And as I sit, look how I'm pulling him down with me. Pulling him down with me. He never falls away. Right now, I've got this little pull in his arms. He pulls a punch. Hook. He pulls a punch. Hook. And if I switch to the to the the hooking grip instead of the elbow, right? I just make it a little uncomfortable, and I go heavy on this side. Uh huh. And I got to make sure I remember to fall. Oh, no, so they don't land. So they don't land on your crotch, that's right. 
Instead of pulling this down hard. <laughs> All right. So, so I think you it's have a weird thing. And then I'll, I'm, it's it's almost like I need still that space. Don't the bad guy's face. Well, the, no, so, so what happens is, it's here. more of a coming punch me. I feel him start to, to grab, grab my steps. Yeah. Yeah. That's you can. Go. Oh, so wait. And I, put, I think I don't want him to see saw. Right? So he's, 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 he's the bad guy. No, you're the bad. You're doing yeah, this. I'm the bad guy, and then I swing your shoulders. Yeah, because because yeah. 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 we're in a fight. You don't know anything. I start to grab your hips. What do you do? You pull your hips away, right? You don't let someone just grab your hips and pull you in. It doesn't take a genius to figure that. But I don't know anything about fighting. As you stick your butt up, push your shoulders in. But you would you stick your butt up, squat, stick your butt. See how you grab it? Now turn your head. What's a punch? I don't know. Don't need to know. Now push your butt right more as you drag in. Keep going, keep going. So there it push, is. Push your step. There you go. No, you don't. And there you, you go. are creating. So now you, space. Cody, go. There you go. And now the other. Now you've broken my posture. Oh. And you just drive that out. close. So it means space. Yeah, it's right now. Now. <laughs> not, not the shoulders. Okay. Come back. Explain this. Yeah. So, so back as you were doing before. So oh, bring you your, your hands away from your hands. Now, this is a really tight. So I'm trying to. Yeah. Uh, I can't find that space. As you keep your hips over here, here, step your butt. Or step your hips towards me. Hands up. Make your butt. Sit away. Oh. And look into that. There you go. Okay. Okay. So we'll go back. Why is it important that you don't hold hands? Stand Why is it important? Oh, like so you feel this. So you're here. Here's what you were doing. When you hold your hands okay. like you want. Why is this? Hold this out. Oh, no, no. Hold. Hold this out. Hold this out. Jacob, pull it back and out. All right. You see that? I know, easy to block. Yeah. Block. Cool. Angle. When you pinch yeah. this, you you're blocking the back of the towel trying to pull this out of here. Right. He runs into that. How do I bring you back? But when you bring your hand up, right. look what happens to your elbow. It comes up. Space somewhere. Yes. So you got to think you're attacking two different Push levels. In. You're controlling the head and you're controlling the elbow. Okay. Two different levels. If you bring your hands up, you combine them, then you lose them. Yeah. No space. And it's not about what your hands are really doing, it's literally just about pinching. This part, yeah. yeah. It's just about pinching. There you go. Now let's talk uh, about the... Falling back farther? Yeah. So it's not, but that's the key. That's the problem. It's not a fall. And I was trying to be like... It's yeah, not a fall. It's a walk. You squat. You squatted well. The issue was when you squatted, <clears throat> notice how I'm leaning forward. Nice work. Like this. this. Yeah, I was trying so to... So you just have to... It's kind of... So you gotta make sure that when you good. squat... Good! You've got a squat motion. All right, we got to so move on. Shoot back and look at how far I went. This is going to stretch their legs out and make sure their knees land here as opposed to here. Yeah. So what happens if the knees land there? Well, no point. We all know. <laughs> the fight's over. You lost. But it's it's not impossible, but it's really hard to come back from a knee dropping on oh, no. the privates, right? It's a hard thing to come back from. Did I even mention that? And I still did. All right. But so, <laughs> so, what, so one more thing though. You, so you can practice this on your own, right? You can find some sort of line, the linear of how far you're going, where you're starting. We're just saying, okay, grab, grab, squat, shoot back, right? So squat, shoot back. That's it. There it is. That's all you gotta do. So I was telling you gotta do nice. It's like sat down all like easy. <laughs> So we're going to talk about elbow escape from side control. So I start in standard side control. He's in punch block mode. I can't punch him. So I want to get up. I tell him I'm getting up, but oh, here, I'll just do the move. He went from being controlled inside to what? What did he do? Well, right now, he's pretty defensive. There's not a whole lot of attacking he's going to do from here. Okay? But he's making it very difficult for me to try and punch him in the face. So I decide to change my position. I tell him. I bring my knees in because I'm getting ready to get up. Oh, look what he did. He went side to me, facing me. 
This guy down here, that foot steps out behind him and is very active. This is what allows him to stay on his side because I'm trying to push him over. He's not letting me. He's not letting me. Okay, well, I I'm going to pass over because I'm going to sit up on top of him. So I take my bottom knee, I come up. Look at what happened to his arm. His arm is just sitting there right in my knee. It's not jello, okay? It's not completely dead, but he's just sitting there. He's, he's got a nice, firm connection. He's not pushing. He's there, he's tactile. He's feeling, waiting for this leg to go soft, to go light. Because I gotta push my knee to the other side, which means my weight shifts and the weight comes off of this guy. When that happens, he's gonna do like what we would do for elbow escape from full mount. He's gonna chop and push that knee down and up and he'll slip his bottom leg underneath my leg, okay? So as I start my drive, there's his pop. He steps over. Now, from right here, look, he's got his head up. He's hanging on to me. He's using this elbow to support himself as well as he's punch block aware, right? Another thing he can do though, is he can use that hook on me to drive and make this hand rooted. And that gives him his opportunity. To finish the escape, free the other leg. It's all about shrimping guys. Remember, the foot that's trapped, shrimp your butt out in the direction of the trapped foot. That's what creates the space to allow this foot to quickly and easily step out. Don't rely on flexibility. It may not always work if the other guy's a lot bigger or really aggressive and driving in on you. Let's turn the other way. Okay, so watch this arm of his. Can you see how it drops? Let's turn a little bit more. Can you see how it drops? It just sits there. Here's a mistake people do. They go right up here in the hips and they think, push the hips away. What does that do to push my knee out? Are you trying to pick me up or just bump my knee? You're just trying to bump my knee to slip your leg underneath. You don't need to pick me up. Especially with one arm at an odd angle. Very unlikely. Okay. So, nice little connection. He's waiting. As I step across, there's the little bump. He slips his leg out. He turns, he faces the other way, right? If I'm gonna try and punch him, he's got heaviness on me. He's making it difficult for me to try and punch him. My hands are rooted to the ground. When he's ready, boom. Now, as the bad guys drive in, track that foot. Don't let them use their flexibility. Notice, I'm not gonna worry about my foot. Once my knee is passed, I worry about the punch block. And if he focuses on my foot, fine. But the second I get my opportunity, I feel safe, I'll shrimp and go. He shrimped his butt out in the direction of the trap foot. Look at that space. There is no space. Ho, oh, look at all that space. That makes it really easy for that to step out. I'm not gonna, but if he's going crazy trying to hit me, I'm not gonna worry about that. And then once I get my opportunity, Done. Common mistake. Good guy puts the hand high in the thigh, meaning close to the hip, or into the hip to try and push and lift them up. That's a no bueno. That, that, that just won't work, right? Arm lays down, right down by the knee. When you feel that knee get light, you push it to the south, and you give it a little pop. Just sweep it that knee will bounce up because they're dropping their weight. The important factor to this is timing. You only have a brief moment to pop that knee. Oh, that's gonna be way too hard. No, it's way too easy. You just have to be aware. Timing, there's too early, there's too late. You want it just right. Oh crap, I just said the three bears. And, and, and really, a thing that's important to re I mean, <laughs> nice to realize here is, when he start, watch his own, watch him go on his own. I'm not gonna do anything. So, watch his knee. It's just look how it just comes up. All I've got to do is give it a push. 
So in other words, in other words, um, I'm creating the movement, yeah. not him. I just redirect where his leg is going. I don't have to force anything. Yep. It's a nice pick, but you need the timing because here's when he's too late. Well, okay, let's start off. Actually, too early. Go. Oh, what are you doing? I'm gonna step back. What the heck? He might, or he might even just more simply hook my elbow with his arm. Do something like that, or pull my arm up and out of the way. Right? Here's too late. Here's too late. Well, now I'm just trying to do an elbow escape from out, which can work, but once know, my weight settles, it's harder. Uh, my weight distributes, and now it's much harder for him to do. Yeah, he can strip out, and that gives him extra time to do stuff. Yeah. So find that moment. Feel when that knee is leg. You'll feel it pick up. Bump it. Bump it down. Feed it down between your legs. I notice to make it easy on yourself, don't keep your legs up. Uh, Be flat. Gosh. There's another mistake people make a lot. Yeah. They think lift this leg up. They're flailing their leg. There is no flail. Yeah. Relax. Feel the ground. Your whole side should just be on the ground. Yep. When my knee goes light, he pushes. My, my knee will literally bounce over his arm, which is, by the way, over your leg. Boom. And it'll drop. And then he just turns the shrimps the other way. I take that leg. Yep. Any questions? Say partners. Go. This comes down inside and drops right there. Mm -hmm. There it is. Okay. As he starts to pass, whoop, 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 whoop. He can't roll me, but he can. Push. Make this tight. There you go. Okay, as he goes a step, you'll feel that leg get light. When you feel it get light, feed it down between your legs. Go. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Stop. What was that common mistake we talked about? Don't pick this leg up. Don't pick it up. Okay. Go. Try it again. Push his knee. So right push his knee. Feed it down and oh, between your legs. As he goes a step over, stop trying to grab his leg. Put your foot back. That stays there. <laughs> that stays there. There's nothing to do with about your legs. This is all about your little timing with your arm. Okay. Go ahead and stretch the pass. Switch your arm. There's the pass. There's the push, push, push. You notice how your legs can't oh, completely. Like that. No, not like that. <laughs> Get off of him. Get off of him. Lay down. Put this foot up. These do not move. Okay? This is right here. Yeah. When you feel this knee get light, just do that. That's it. That's it. Once you feel his leg drop down between, then you come over, then you grab. Okay? Right here. Yeah. These have no role in doing anything to reach out and grab, right? They stay where they are. Don't say push. Push. When you feel this knee go light, get ready to push my knee. You push now? No. There it is. That's it. That's it. Trap. Now strip your butt up. Push on my knee. Push on my knee. Get that knee up. Another thing that will help: lay on your side in the position. Yeah. Now think. Bring this knee here. That's, that's it? Yes. So when you're doing this, I'm seeing you like do this. No, no, no. Just go up. Just go up. It's like just go keep up. it on the ground. That. Yeah, that's it. That is the exact motion that you do. That's it. That's it. <laughs> okay. What you need to do is relax. You flail. Flailing is panic. Don't panic. Relax. Can you do it to a little more time? Yeah. It's time to check it on the dynamic. Start and go back. Oh, it's start and standard side. Yeah. And then you just go up. Yeah. 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 Yeah
and now bring your knees in. And now that's your indicator to start to move. Hook his head. Hook his head. There we go. Strap his arm. Okay, now we're going to knee and turn this to your side. Turn on your side. I'm going to hook my leg okay. before I go. Hold, hold, hold. Hold. Up, hold. Up. So, Aside from that, that leg, I push into him. The movement is coming. With his timing, is that good? Really good. Really good. Really good. What's happening though okay. is you're going a little that. too early. So As you push, you're just bringing this up, and then now you're having trouble getting the leg between your legs. It's literally just this motion. There, you did it. This, right? I bring my knee along the ground up, and I bring my other hand down. And once I feel his knee go between my legs, now I think square up, one of my legs traps his leg. Either one, it's preference, they have advantages and disadvantages. But I trap with one leg. All right? So give that a shot. So you get into position. Oh, see, see your knee is not on the ground. This knee is not on the ground. Go back. Go back. What's going to here? What's going to help you is triple the ball. There you go. Now keep this stiff. Don't let yourself get flattened out. There you go. Okay, now. Better. Switch. Both your knees down. That's his indication he's about to pass. Okay? Put this land down on your, your back. Lay on your back. Just chill. Now, you. what he's going to do is he's going to take his arm, put his hand up here, and he's going to start leaning across your body. He's going to take his right knee and come across. Do that leg like get light. Ah! How are they doing, Devontae? Oh, they're doing good. Stay on top of that knee. Out of focus. I'm out of focus? Oh, no. Over. They're doing good. They're doing good. They're doing good. Oh, no. Day in the life. Day in the life. Day in the life. Right here. I don't okay, sleep enough. Fast. I go to bed late. Wait, wait, wait. I wake up too late. Right here. Ready? Yeah, you know, same set. <laughs> when you feel it go light, push it. Boom. Push it. Push it. Push it. Push it. Push it. Push it. There it is. Right. He's got a trap. I'm trying to face the other way. Yeah. Oh, yeah, sure. Just follow me, dude. Lock his leg. Lock his leg. Oh. <laughs> so you're gonna hook here. Yeah. Lock his leg. <laughs> now get your knee out. So here's turn what I want. I want you to turn turn turn. Turn. Yeah. I'll turn so what's happening for you? Is it because you're, you're not quite setting right, so when he drives, you're flat. And look what happens to our knee. It makes this motion really hard. So what I'm going to do to set this out is I'm going to take my feet out, and now I'm going to turn. And notice how my this leg is behind me. I'm very clearly on my side, and this is stiff. So come over here and push on my shoulder. Yeah, like push it this way, like you're trying to flatten it. Right, you feel that resistance? Right, if I have this foot too close, do it. There's nothing. Right, so I kind of have my foot behind me so I can resist. Right, so try that. Oh, you can't pull that leg out, I'll let you. Shift your butt in the, in the direction so of the track. So step your feet close. out and now Shift your butt. Shift your butt. There you Keep going. Keep going. And resist with that. Good. That's better. Push. Boom. Look at that. Now block his leg. Trap his leg. Good. There you go. Put one of your feet on the ground though. This, if this is what's not trapped. Yeah, there you go. Okay. Jacob. Close. I'll try it again. There you go. Throw his back. Put your one leg. Yeah, like this. Get your knees, get your knees to the floor, Jacob. There you go. Okay, put your hand out and start to get ready to pass. Lean into him. Get that knee over his body. There you go. There it is. Now, relax. Shrimp your butt out that way. Use your hand to block his knee. Get your knee out. Okay, stop. It's above. Start shrimping back underneath him and push this knee. Ooh, wow. look at that. Don't put your hands Isn't together, it? Cody. Lock his arm. Comb your hair. Oh. <laughs> All right. But yeah, Jacob, as, as his bag out, you feel him put his hands together. Just pull your arm out. Pull your arm out and touch his face. Pull it. <laughs> Should I go like this or is it better? All right, got to move on to the next piece. You know, it's your preference. I want to be a judge here. <laughs> so. 
No, sit down. I'll, I'll, I'll judge you for this. Show though. me how, no, no, don't lay down, sit down. Show me how to stand up. Do that five more times. Always, always, inside here, outside in the real world, that's how you sit down and that's how you get up, okay? If you ever have to rely on that in a situation, it will be automatic. It's something you won't have to think about, right? How do you sit down? How do you stand up? How do I go down? How do I get up? Can I use Devante as a base? Sure, right? If for some reason, I'm right here, right? We're done. <laughs> or commonly, he's in mount, right? We want to switch roles, so he's got to stand up. Right? It doesn't matter where you put your hand for the base as long as it's solid. Right? Chill. You can sit like this, but when you go to get up, I drop to a side, I drop, I pick up, I swing out, and I come up, okay? You gotta make that a habit. So, we'll all do it for the last thing we do today, just to make sure. All right. Oh, so I start in side control, I can't punch him. All right, and I do this. You're gonna try, I'm gonna let you. I'm gonna take you So my behavior was different, but the idea is still the same. What's different is, is I didn't bring my knees in, I laid down alongside him. He's doing the same thing. He's doing the same thing. He has a problem though. He can't get his arm to my knee, but he gets it to my hip. So what's gonna happen, I'm gonna take this really slow. As I step over, watch what his arm does. It slides down to my knee and he finds that moment where my knee comes off the ground, he does the same thing. He gives it a little pop, boom, and it's all exactly the same from this point. Hmm. What's the indicator? Well, you saw it, it was a big movement. I went right here. I went right here. He's lying next to me. Remember, I'm trying to attack him. I'm trying to advance my position so I can beat him up. I'm not trying to lay down next to him. Hey, man, how's it going? Good to see you. You have a good day? He's got All a right. next step. No, there's a next step. <laughs> so as I lay down here, this is his indicator for what's about to come. I'm ready to pass. Well, why doesn't he just push me over? Because when I lay down, this one goes out. This is base. Push into me. It ain't going to work because that's... That's my, that's my base. So just so you guys can see what it looks like without me doing anything, what he's trying to do. He steps right over. So, a little bit of a smarter way to do this transition. So I feel him, I'm gonna take my feet, and get over my side. Now what he's doing here, this is pretty good, so just check it out, go back, just go back real quick. I can get right here and just uh, uh. This makes it pretty hard for me. He's this leg is out of his base. He's doing the same thing. He's pushing on me. Oh yeah, I, I definitely want to get up. This is I don't want to risk losing this. So as I go to get up, he's waiting for that moment. He starts to feel my hip come off the ground. His arm just slides down on my knee. There's a little pop. Boom. There's his trap. Over. Look at how he shrimps out. He gets the knee above. He starts to shrimp underneath me as the bad guy. Don't be jello and just lay here. Step in, close the gap, lock on, hold on to him. Oh. Really, it looks way different, but this is exactly what you just did with a little bit more at the beginning. Oh, yes. 
So you really, what I find helpful is I don't think about it as a different thing. I just do the same motion I did before, but I add my hand to make sure that I reach close enough to his knee. And as long as you do that and have a good timing, you'll be fine. People still make the mistake on thinking, pick the other person up. Right? Your arm gets into the hip, you feel them start to go, you try and push and lift them up on the hip. That's worse. It ain't gonna, it ain't gonna work. Right? I'll abort what I'm trying to do right off the bat. Or actually, you make it worse for yourself, you help me get over into full mount. Because you never get your leg outside of mine. You never free a leg. Timing. Patience. Your arm is in the hip. You're leaning into me. As I start to go, my hip comes off the ground first. Your arm just slides down. As I keep going, the knee gets light. It might even pop off the ground a little bit. Boop! And you pop it. Just give it a bump. Feed it between your legs. Just like you did before. It's all the same after that. Okay, here we go. Any questions? Go. Get to his knee, get to his knee, get to his knee. Boom. See how easy that is? Yeah. Yeah. Trap, trap, exactly. trap, trap. That was oh, beautiful. Oh, oh. Yeah. Long legs. Ready? Yeah. 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 Switch your arms. Yeah. There you go. Block his knee. Pull your knee through. Pull your knee, uh, knee to the sky. There you go. Yeah. Keep chirping towards me. Trip out, trip out. Oh. Okay, Let's do it one more time so that I can kind of. See, so, yeah, the biggest thing I want you to focus on is combining. So Yeah, good, good. Pop it. There you go. He goes through. Yep. And I get to here. Don't pressure. Don't don't think hold this. Don't think hold this. Flat now. Push. Just like that. That's all you gotta do. Don't even think grasp. Just push. You want that pressure here. This hand of yours is facing out. You want to try and stay on top. Don't overthink it. Just as he gets between your leg, step over. Uh, uh, uh. Jacob, hook his head again. Hook his head again. Yes, Don't think swim underneath. And, Comb and your hair. These are the sorts of things that Comb you do. Comb your hair. pinch. That's it. So that that we do to make yeah. ourselves look If he's super aggressive, no, no, go back. Go back. It's not, you know, pinch it. Not like if he's super aggressive, it's sits up to pull his arm out, be sticky. Okay. Follow and swim inside. His Boom. Right is good. There it is. But Done. Ah, don't hook yeah, Right there. You try, you try and take that arm and hug him, that arm comes free, and I was going to hit you. Right. Oh, that's smart. Good job. Yep, bring it up. There you go. So that's a rabbit punch. That's good. Just lean this way. There you go. Wow. Right. Watch this. Come here, Jacob. Yes, sir. So Jacob's uh, other, other. Your knee is out. You're free. What's what do you do? Your knee is out. free. Just like, let's, let's push it to the sky. Right. Okay. Let's put, lay on your back. Yeah. Yeah. Lay on your back. Push okay. it now, to the sky. Jacob starts rabbit punching with him. Okay. Why so is that important to go back? Lay it back down on the ground. If you leave it on the ground, he just puts his hand on it. Now bring it to the sky. If he can't, he lets go, bring it to the sky, push his knee down on this. <laughs> the rolls are reversed. I may even move a little bit and lay on that arm. So keep your foot planted and shrimp. No, not that foot. Good. And now pull it out. Boom. Right. Don't be the one struggling. struggling. <laughs> <laughs> Make him struggle. Break the fourth wall from me. Say what? Break the fourth wall. The fourth wall? Yeah, talk to the camera. Talk to the camera. Hello. Uh, We're just uh, wrapping up class here. 
working on the last few things for uh, elbow escape from uh, side mount. Specifically, the variation they're working on is the high step. When the bad guy lays alongside you and tries to step over to get into full mount, you're going to take advantage of soft and light hips, slide down to the knee, bump the knee over when it goes light, pull them into half guard, shrimp yourself out and get into guard. Guard is a much better position to sit in rather than side control. Because when you get to guard, you got 50-50 shots. So much better place to be than having someone in your side. Think of what you've done. You have set yourself oh, up on yeah, the side. That's what I was like. This waiting is the leg you're attacking. So now he's stuck in the cross. There you go. Oh, go back. Don't, so he was told us he was being very nice and slow. Right. But you got to be ready to take advantage of that. Now, I want you to tuck this elbow in a bit more. It doesn't, so you got to get it inside. Long there long you go. As his hip is coming off, this literally has to slide down until it reaches the knee. Okay? You're not pushing it out, you're sliding it down along his body. What? Don't do that. Because now he sits up and headbutts you. Slide it down. There it is. There you go. Boom. Trap his leg. Okay? Right. Block his knee. One hand always needs to hold his head. Put your knee up. There. Which hand that is is dependent on where your face is. Because oh, if your face is on the certain side, your that same side arm is protected. All right, let's wrap it up. Let's have everybody do five base get ups and sits on each side. So you're going to sit down. You can use one hand, you can use two hands. I don't care. Uh, but it would be better if you did one hand, right? But if you need two hands, You, the cameraman's getting on this. I've done thousands of these. I'm good. <laughs> do you know what he just said? Thousands. He needs to do them. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that was a nice transition. Watch now how Devontae transitions from one side to the other. <laughs> it, was just, it, was just, it was just simple. Just right? He just went down, he comes up, and then he just goes down right to the other side. There's nothing special about it, but it's simple. The simpler you make a movement without cutting corners, the more likely you're going to be successful at doing it. And the quicker it'll be. And, yeah, and the quicker it'll be. All right, let's line it up. Shake the side over. <clears throat> Everybody slide towards Prince again. All right, foul face. All right, thank you so much for coming out today. Our uh, game. For a standing was pull guard. You, you go for a clinch and they turn and square up, drive heavy shoulders, put their hands on your hips to try and push their hips away. You're trying to separate. You're going to take advantage of their structure, that heavy shoulder. One, two, step up. Even if your hips can't come in, put those feet forward. It puts you into a falling position, which is exactly what you want. Just drive and throw that butt back and keep them connected. Do not let your arms become a bungee cord. You run a big risk of separation and losing that control. Keep your shoulders connected to your shoulders the whole time. Elbows down, squat as you shoot back. I'm even pushing my shoulders back into their shoulders so we stay nice and tight. And then as we fall, there is no separation. They stay connected, boom, up, around, through. They throw a punch, one, they throw another punch, two, right, and there you go. Uh, for our ground game, we worked on uh, elbow escape from side. Elbow escape from side, we have two things. There's the knee drive variation, which is when they try and push their knee across your stomach to get up into full mount. You gotta turn on your side to face them. Get that elbow inside and down by the knee and just sit there. 
Have a nice tactile feel on that knee, but don't push hard. Just sit there. Feel. As that knee gets soft, boom, release the spring, pop that knee. Because they're already lifting it for you. Pop that knee, drop it in between, finish everything, go to the other side. Right? Second variation was the high step. They lay down alongside you to throw, slingshot that leg over you. You can't get to the knee right away. You do the same thing, but put the arm in their hip. As they high step over, their hip comes off the ground, slide it down, you'll feel that knee go light, pop it, it's all the same. The setup is a little bit different. You have a little bit more of a hurdle to get through to get straight to that knee on the second variation, but they both work equally well. Everyone did a really good job today, so thank you for coming out. Hands for your side. Out. Oh, class dismissed. Thank you for your help. Thank you for your help. Yeah. Good job. Good job. Good job. Good job. Good job. Good job. All right.